Hey guys, it's me again, back from, well not really the dead, I've only been away a month and a bit, month and a half, but um, yeah, I uh, wanna, I remember I said I was gonna go away to London and I said, probably wasn't gonna buy any DVDs there, well, I lied, that was nature of me right now where I was doing my course, so, you know, worked out in my favour, not in my favour, however you wanna look at it, but this update's gonna be a bit different. I'm going to show off some graphic novels I bought as well. There's one missing that friend's borrowing, but I'll just I'll talk about it a little bit or whatever if I have time or just mention it. Anyway, so let's get the DVDs part of the update first. I'll do them first and then the graphic novels. So first off, we have Star Trek, J.J. Uh, Abrams, the new one. Um, I bought this, I, I saw it at the cinema and I did like it, but I wasn't in love with it. But I decided to give it another go. You know, I, I wanted to see it again anyways, and I really did just enjoy it a ton the second time around there's a pack. Um, I'm not a massive, I'm not a fan of Star Trek at all to be honest. I always just found it kind of boring. I know people love it and that's fine, you know, power to you, but it's just not my thing really. I was always a Star Wars guy, but this, I, I really enjoyed this. This this one was really, really good, I thought. You know, I had a few problems with it. The sun flares were kind of annoying, a bit overboard, but other than that, I think it's a great kind of action adventure movie, just really tons of fun. And the cast is just great, and it's, it's just altogether a really fun movie. Um, there's the disc, it is uh, Paramount Plain Jane. I just got the one disc because I just I was cheap, and I never watched the special features, anyways, but apart from like commentaries. Anyway, so that's Star Trek. Then I got um, Sleepy Hollow, which I'd never seen before, so I thought I finally should check it out. And I did, I really enjoyed it. I watched it the other day. I thought it was a good flick. Had a, some problems with it, you know. It wasn't perfect, but it was good. I liked it. It was very, I loved how it's theatrical. It was very kind of just gothic -y, but I suppose that's to be expected with Tim Burton, isn't it really? Um, there's a disc. Um, yeah, it was, yeah, it was good. I liked it a lot. Um, uh, not one of my favorite Tim Burton's, uh, but you know, it was, I liked it. Then I got uh, The Descent, which I have seen before. I haven't watched it since I bought it. But this movie is fucking awesome. I love it. It's so good. Just, it's just so fucking awesome. It's really, really scary. And I shit my pants watching it, metaphorically, obviously. Um, I haven't watched it again. I, kind of, I want to, but I also don't want to because it's just, it scares the bejesus out of me. This is the two disc edition. We've got them, both discs. Um, comes in a slipcase, so DVD M approved. Um, yeah, it's, it's a great flick. I haven't seen part two, but I've heard mixed things. I don't know how they're going to follow on from the ending of this one, but definitely, if you like, if you haven't seen this and you don't get scared too easily, I would recommend it. I wouldn't recommend this to Nick though. GH specialist, do not watch that at all because just don't. Uh, and then. Um, Poltergeist. I got this, I just bought this today, four quid used. Um, I haven't seen it, but I've heard good things, I think. It could have been something else. But it, it looks good. I don't know why I just bought a load of horror movies, because it's April, and it's the summer. I don't know, random, right? Anyways, it's, uh, um, it's supposed to be good, I think. I haven't watched it yet, but I'll watch it soon, hopefully. Hopefully it doesn't scare the producers out of me, because I'm just not good with horror movies. That's Poltergeist, so that's four quid. And then some TV box sets, um, or you could call them that. Oops, just fell over. Uh, I've got ER Season 7. Um, I haven't watched this yet because I haven't even watched Season 6. Just far too much television to watch. This season has Elizabeth Mitchell in it from Lost and uh, V. So definitely looking forward to this season a lot because I love her. She's amazing. Uh, yeah, season seven, same as six, and the double-sided discs. Um, and I also got season eight. Um, just need season nine now, and I've filled the gap that I had. Um, yeah, same again. Double-sided discs. These are twelve quid each. Nature and V. I know they're cheaper online, but I just got them Nature and V while I was in London. Um, yeah, yeah. And then I got Nip Tuck. Season 3 and Season 4. 
Uh, I watched season three, it's really good. I watched season two as well, obviously. <laughs> um, yeah, I really do just so over the toply awesome. It's, I don't know, <laughs> it's just so ridiculously good. Like, just, it's silly and stupid, but also awesome. Um, yeah, this is the whole stuff. This is the thing with the carver, which I loved. The whole carver and who that turned out to be. I kind of... I sort of saw it coming, but also there was like another twist where I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I didn't see that coming. It was um, it was like a double thing, though. Um, but it was that was really cool. Um, this is... Six discs. And season four I haven't watched yet, but I've heard it's a bit rubbish. I hope season five's good. Um, it comes in these, because even just looking at these kind of, um, that, I mean, what the fuck? It just looks ridiculous and way too far. And then we've got graphic novels. I try and not be, try and be quick. Um, but we've got all of Scott Pilgrim to date. So you've got volume one, Scott Pilgrim's Precious Little Life. Volume 2, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Volume 3, Scott Pilgrim and the Infinite Sadness. Volume 4, Scott Pilgrim Gets It Together. Volume 5, Scott Pilgrim vs. The Universe. Scott Pilgrim is probably, definitely one of my favourite comics, or ever, favourite graphic novel series, whatever you want to call it. It's just so fucking brilliant. It's so out there and just hilarious. Look at that. It's just... It's insane. It's it's so good. Scott Pilgrim. If you, if you the movie's coming out this year, so if you haven't you're interested in the movie but you haven't read the books, definitely recommend reading these because they're just freaking 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 awesome. Definitely recommend these, and they're like only you know five six quid online, and you know if you go to Bitter Planet, they're like seven eight quid each. So highly recommend these. They're super easy to find now that Scott Pilgrim the movie's coming out um, with Michael Sarah. And then I got uh, The Walking Dead Volume 1, Days Gone By. This is really cool. This is like a zombie um, series and it's just so uh, well done. And I think that the, a TV series of this being made by Frank Darabont. So if you haven't read these, definitely recommend them. I'm borrowing Volumes 2 and 3 off a friend, but... Um, uh, I haven't read them yet, I've just read volume one, which I bought. I mean, it's just, it's so cool. Then finally I got Preacher, volume five, Dixie Fried. Volume six, War in the Sun, love that cover. And volume seven, Salvation, that's bizarre. Preacher's awesome, I've talked about Preacher before, I think like a year ago, that's when I got into it. And it's just really good. Um, it's just, it's just insane. I mean, look, look at that. Um, I haven't finished volume 5 yet, but it's just so good. Uh, there's nine altogether, so I just need two more. But, um, I won't explain what Preacher's about because it's just impossible, just absolutely impossible to explain what it's about. It's so good though, really awesome. This is kind of a quite a hardcore comic, not for little kiddies. There's lots of, it's quite over the top, and there's lots of, you know, there's rape and uh, killings and swearing and just angels, demons, sex, uh, you know, all the good stuff. So don't recommend this to the kiddies. Out of all these, recommend Scott Pilgrim the most because this is just fantastically brilliant. Definitely, I just, you could just read it so many times and I've read these twice. I read them already prior to buying them but they're just, they're just really good. So that's been my update for comics and uh, DVDs. Some are a little different. I hope you enjoyed it and hope, um, battery's running low so I gotta go but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, have a good one. Comment, rate, subscribe, do what you do, and I'll see you when I see you. Shit, just realised the graphic novel I forgot. I forgot to mention the one that my friend is borrowing is Kick-Ass, which I saw the movie of as well, and I prefer the movie, but they're both really good. That's all. Um, yeah, Kick-Ass. Definitely recommend checking, reading it, and seeing the movie. They're both great. All right, peace.